Okay, question six. Uh, question six. Very fun to answer. Uh, for your six A, uh, ask you to describe conduction. Uh, please be careful uh, with the keyword. And as you can see, even when I'm answering, I I also read the question uh, wrongly. That's why you see so much uh, correction tape. Uh, remember to start off your description from the hotter region so that you can explain how the uh, molecule gains the energy vibrate faster and how it collides with the neighboring molecules. So remember to use the keyword neighboring molecules. Okay, then uh, if you want to play safe, uh, make sure you add the detail uh, on when will this transfer end so the thermal energy will continue to conduct itself from hotter region to cooler region until okay the whole body uh, has a uniform temperature then the conduction will stop but that one is optional hmm? just for a more complete answer okay for your part b uh, it is very interesting a lot of points uh, to mention so I will list down everyone. Uh, definitely your model Y will give you a, a slower heat loss. Okay, number one is because it is white in color and white is actually a poor radiator than gray. So when you are giving your argument, uh, especially in this kind of question where you are comparing between one model to an other model, uh, remember to use words such as poorer, and make reference to the thing that you are comparing with. So in this case, I will say I won't just mention that white is a poor emitter. I will write white is a poorer emitter than gray. So make a comparison in your argument. Okay, and remember, uh, don't give uh, incomplete sentence. Uh, conclude your own argument. So. Something like that. Hence, white color gives a slower rate of heat loss Why radiation. So remember to close up your argument. Uh, the next point, uh, this insulation, this gray color insulation will minimize heat loss Why conduction. Okay? And I give you a negative example here. So if I write just a statement like this, uh, sometimes it could appear uh, unclear to the marker. This insulation, what are you referring to? So a better one would be the insulation in model Y okay, minimizes the heat loss Y conduction relative to model X. So that will be a more complete argument. Okay, the last point, uh, as a result of the uh, insulation in model Y, the outer casing of model Y will be cooler and therefore uh, the convection current on top of this uh, model Y will be slower than your model X. Okay, but this is a uh, yeah, it's a small point, but for complete sake. Okay. Okay, question seven. Uh, down here, uh, yes, you can say that it is still it is uh, other magnetic material. But the best answer would be iron because iron is soft magnetic material meaning that it can be magnetized quickly okay so it will give you the best response uh, uh, i mean it will give you the shortest response time for this uh, lifting up to happen so uh, use a soft magnetic material okay some student uh, just put soft magnetic material. So look at the question. The question says suggest a material. The question didn't ask you to suggest a type of material. When you say soft magnetic material, you are stating a type of material. So when uh, the question asks you specifically to suggest one material, name the material. Okay, in this case, iron. So explain how the rod get lifted up. Uh, remember to mention that it is only when this rod enters the magnetic field from a uh, magnetic field of this magnet then the south pole will be induced here so highlight that only when the rod enters into the magnetic field of the magnet then a south pole 
is induced at P. And because unlike pole attract, the north pole of the magnet will be lifted. Okay? Uh, for your part B, part B, uh, you have to use your left hand rule. So magnetic field is actually going into the paper. So that's why your index finger should be into the paper. Uh, the current at A is actually going to the left. So you have to rotate your thing like this. So this finger, this finger is going to the left. The magnetic field is going into the paper and therefore this thumb here is the force. So force is pointing down. Okay, now uh, uh, that, that is for this answer. But I just want to highlight to you uh, as this current is going in a circle. So as you see, going into a circle, you rotate this way. So you can see if I have an imaginary point B at the bottom, B will have an upward pointing force. A will have a downward pointing force. And if you look at the left and right, eh? so the left, we have a force going to the right. And at the right, there will be a force going to the left. So with this understanding, we move on to the next question. So the next question is asking you about net force. So net force is the summation of all the forces acting on the loop. And just now with the left hand rule, I demonstrate to you that uh, at opposite point of the loop, there will be an equal force but acting in opposite direction. So what happens is that at these two points, will be here, these two points here. So you can see that all the forces eventually will cancel each other out because they are acting in opposite direction. And so your resultant force is actually zero. Okay, the English is a bit tricky. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best way to put it. So there is an equal and opposite force acting on opposite points along the loop. So eventually all the different forces will cancel out each other. Okay, uh, question eight. Uh, this is, this description is, I don't know, it comes out thousands of times already. So remember to mention all the features in the setup, including the soft iron core. Okay, just for completion sake. So, the soft iron core will link the magnetic field line from the magnet to the core to the coil, and as this magnet rotates, the coil here will experience a change in magnetic field strength. And so, by Faraday's law, an EMF will be induced in the coil. Now, since the question didn't ask you about the direction of the current or anything like that, you do not need to mention Lenz's law. So, but the question asks you why the lamp glow. So do not stop at this point whereby you say that an EMF is induced. And the argument with thus the lamp will glow due to the induced EMF. Okay, and your argument will be complete. Uh, modification, there is a lot of modification. You increase the rate of rotation use a lower resistant wire, stronger magnet and all that. Uh, now the answer key actually state that uh, we do not accept answer uh, if you write down increase the number of coils, uh, in the increase the number of turns in the coil. Uh, I, I don't really understand why it is not accepted. Uh, my guess is that uh, this coil comes with the lamp, lamp setup. So that's why you cannot uh, do modification with the coil. Uh, you cannot just cut the wire and then coil a new coil. Technically you can, but more troublesome. Anyway, uh, so when you're answering this kind of question, when they are asking you for two modifications out of many, uh, choose those that uh, you are very, very sure that it is feasible, it is easy to modify and uh, you should be safe. Okay, part C. Uh, if the soft iron core is removed, so what happens is that magnetic field, magnetic field lines from the magnet, uh, a normal one, would, let's say this north, this south, would be symmetrical looking. Right, but what happens is, if you have an iron core like that, the magnetic field line will actually prefer to run in this kind of magnetic material. So what happens is that this magnetic material actually concentrates the magnetic field line and link it to the coil very effectively. 
So without this iron core, what happens is that the magnetic field will no longer be concentrated. It will be like a symmetrical one. So uh, if you think about this from the perspective of the coil, initially you have all the magnetic field line from the magnet to the coil. Now without the core, you would have maybe just half or even less few lines going through the coil. So that's why without the iron core, the brightness will be decreased. And that is because the magnetic field line would not be linked to the coil as effectively as before. So as a result, the coil experiences a lower rate of change of magnetic field strength. So it's not less change, it's a lower rate of change. Okay, And therefore a weaker EMF is induced and therefore your uh, brightness would decrease. Okay?